See, everybody's getting this all wrong today. Usually the phrasing mutually agreed to part ways is spin. This is true today. Phil got his money and left behind a wrecked franchise because of his decisions. James Dolan, I don't know if he was too busy rehearsing with the band. You couldn't have done this before the draft or he really did it. He did the right thing for the wrong reasons. You didn't fire him because of the triangle. You didn't fire him because of free agency. You didn't fire him because he was talking about your players publicly in ways no executive should. You fired him because he wouldn't, he wanted to buy out Carmelo Anthony, which is the right thing to do. Only the you picks. should buy out Carmelo Only Anthony. The He's not waving a no trade clause you gave him. No. So that was that was the tipping point. That was the irreconcilable difference between James Dolan and Phil Jackson was not buying out Carmelo. So you know what? Phil won today. Knicks fans may think things got better. It didn't. Let me know when Dolan sells the team. Because Never happening. Dolan says, while we are, act, we are currently evaluating how best to move forward regarding the leadership of the organization, I will not be involved in the operation of the team. Yeah, right. Right. Okay, so whoever he hires next, he's going to meddle in that, and he's going to fire him and eat that contract, rinse and repeat. Like, they should buy Melo out. And that's the reason why you and Phil parted ways. He just drafted the French kid for the triangle. And I, <laughs> It's just, this, this, is, this, this, not, this is typical Knicks fandom, and I'm not a Knicks fan. Right. I'm upset, and I'm not a Knicks fan. I can't imagine how they feel because they're sitting up there like, yes, Phil's gone, but Dolan's not. Yeah, and, and neither is the dysfunction. The dysfunction is still as prevalent and as prominent as it, as it ever was. Here's the bottom line. Knicks fans, find you a new team. Like, uh, seriously. How long have I been saying that? Find you a new team. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I know you want to hang in there, and I know you're waiting for this moment where all of this will turn around and all of this pain and this agony and Spike's tweet of hallelujah and oh, my God, the dead has arisen. That will mean something to you because the, the problem is now is that James Dolan, despite what he says or the people he employs who have already made a lot of bad decisions, they get to make a new decision. They get to make a new decision, right? Do you really trust them? to make the appropriate decision. And here's the thing. Don't get all excited about a, a new general manager, uh, Masai Ujiri. Masai Ujiri from Toronto. Don't get excited, under contract, by right, the don't, don't get excited about somebody like David Griffin. And we'll discuss some more names of Brian Windhorst in a moment. Because if Dolan fired Phil because he wouldn't give Melo a buyout, that means the next GM automatically has to agree with, with James Dolan on that. Not just that, you're saying what you're GM not What gonna... GM that is worth their salt, that is remotely competent, would want to keep Carmelo Anthony around? This is not about Melo, about the direction of the team. Co correct. Nobody would. So who is that ridiculous that That's he gonna would put in that position? That. That's going to sign off for that. But again, he said, hey, I'm not going to be involved in the basketball decisions. You just were. Right. And because Phil couldn't do what he wanted to do, now he's gone. So Phil's looking at this like, I'm happy. Fine, give me my money. I'm out because I wasn't going to be here the past two years anyway. So ultimately, this is no cause for celebration.